proton pack is not a toy. Now that it's New Year's slash Ghostbusters 2 season, I felt this was a good time to show off one of my other prop builds. One of the questions I've gotten a few times on the channel has been, do you have a slime blower from Ghostbusters 2? Technically no, but in a way I have too. Before I get into it, let me recommend the Slime Blower Builders private group on Facebook. People that build actual slime blower replicas post their builds regularly and are good about answering questions. I've never built a full size one, but I'm a member of the group in case I ever do. As far as my two slime blowers go, they were built for my kids. I made them in 2014 when my boys were six, almost seven, and two and a half. This was about six months after I put together my current full-size replica proton pack, and my oldest wanted one too. But this was before spirit packs existed, and I didn't really know how to scale a pack down to their size. I could have gone with a Kenner pack, but I sold mine to fund my full-size build, and the prices to buy more weren't interesting to me. But I did still have a Kenner Ecto Charger, which was the real Ghostbusters toy line version of the slime blower, and I'd always wanted an excuse to paint it like the movie. After some digging on GB fans, I saw there were people using Nickelodeon Super Slimers as slime cannons, and it really looked similar and fit in scale. So that would replicate the Ecto Charger spring loaded cannon. I found a lot on eBay for two Nickelodeon cannons for a good price, so I bought a second Ecto Charger to make one for each of the kids. I had to decide if I wanted them to function and shoot slime or to look more accurate to the movie. Due to the fact that my kids were small and would make a mess, I decided to go for looks over function. So I took off the slime tanks and removed the handle from the back, cut it down, and moved it to where the tanks once were. I bought some backpack strap material to make adjustable harnesses, painted them up, and threw on the caution stripe tape and some split loom between the cannon and the main tank and came up with these mini slime blowers. Truth be told, the kids humored me and took pictures on Christmas with them when they opened them, but they weren't as excited about them as I'd hoped they'd be. We played with them now and then over the years, and I even wore one on Halloween one year with my dark Ghostbusters 2 suit when it was raining and I didn't want to get my pack wet. During the summer of 2020, I decided to buy a third Nickelodeon slime cannon to keep functional so that we could shoot slime with one of them since the kids were six years older and less messy to an extent. I got as far as painting it silver and then got more into focusing my time on my new YouTube channel. Two months later, we moved and by that time it was on the back burner completely. Here's how it exists now, not too far away from being completed. Maybe I'll finish it in 2022. Thanks for watching.